In this video, I'm going to explain a few things that you should and should not do with oriented strand board and basically plywood. And that would be if you are cutting your risers. You can actually cut them with the grain of the uh, plywood or oriented strand board or um, perpendicular to it. Now you cannot do that with treads since the stair treads are going to be sitting on top of and supporting most of the weight. They're going to be it's going to be sitting on top of the stringers. This would be the same uh, thing you would have with floor joists and roof rafters. The plywood needs to run. The grain of the plywood, the grain of the OSB, needs to run perpendicular or cross. Needs to go over the um, roof rafters, the floor joists, and the same thing holds true to the stair treads. In the next picture, you can see that the stair treads, the grain of the oriented strand board is basically running the length, not the width. And as far as the risers go, I believe the first two on the left, the grain goes um, parallel to the length and in the two on the right it was actually cut in the opposite direction and I'm going to go ahead and show you a way to lay out the plywood or the OSB to uh, provide you with a few examples of how you can get a couple of extra risers out of a, a sheet of plywood or oriented strand board in some cases, but you're not going to be able to do that with the stair treads. So remember that. I can't tell you how many stairways I've torn apart that have the um, grain of the plywood, um, let's just say, running in the opposite direction. And by the grain of the plywood, I know it's kind of hard to say, explain that, but the grain would run parallel to the eight foot edge, uh, not the four foot edge on a four foot sheet of plywood. So it would, again, it would run the same um, distance um, from right to left on a piece of, on a four by eight sheet of plywood, it's actually going to run the length of the plywood, and I hope that makes sense. As always, I have another example to see if I can make myself a little more clearer on this. Here's a, a section of oriented strand board. I went ahead and numbered since you couldn't see the lines of the treads. I got some chalk lines in there. Um, and the first one, two, three represent the stair treads. The numbers four and five are two of the risers. Here's a better illustration of what I'm talking about. Um, now you can see here that all of the treads and the risers here run parallel to the grain of the plywood or the OOSB in this case. Now, if you are going to cut a couple extra risers, the risers, um, they're not structurally as important as the stair treads and you can actually cut them out of the other sections instead of wasting the, wasting the uh, OSB or the plywood, like this example right here. So you can see that we have the three treads at the top left, two risers at the bottom, and then we cut two additional risers on the right. I already said this, but I'm gonna say it again. Remember, the risers can be cut in either direction um, but the stair treads cannot. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, feel free to leave any questions in the comment area and I will try to clarify it a little further.